Uh, we just opened up the club to audiences here in the building again in July, uh, and it I didn't know how it was going to feel, but uh, it has been a wonderful experience, actually, for us here at the club and for those that have uh, come and enjoyed the shows. It is a little bit different, of course, than it was before, but it's still... Uh, there's no replacing being here in the room uh, for live music. However, um, we are very happy to still be broadcasting the shows online and anticipate that we will be doing that uh, for the foreseeable future. It's a bit of a studio audience kind of situation, so kind of a fun new thing. If you are enjoying the music... Um, on the live stream this evening, feel free to send in a contribution of any amount, preferably a very large amount, but any amount, uh, using the Square Cash app link there or the PayPal link or some other way that you think of. Um, it definitely helps with the lower capacity limits and all of that business, so thank you for considering that. Uh, here in person, I want to just stress again that I, I promise we are doing everything that we can to still uh, deliver a really good experience for you here and make it as safe as possible uh, by screening the staff here and the audience when they come in and not selling more tickets, even when we definitely can, like tonight. And I would just uh, like to thank you again for upholding your half of that bargain as well and, and keeping those wonderful masks on uh, this evening. So many of our favorite shows here at the club have been brought to us in one way or another by Damani Phillips, and this is such a cool new concept that he has brought to the club, and I know you're going to love it. Please join me in welcoming to the stage, along with these wonderful musicians, Damani Phillips. Thank you. 
Hey, thanks so much, folks. Man, um, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing to be um, here and, and in front of people <laughs> playing actual music. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> but uh, we, um, we are truly appreciative of uh, you uh, carving out a piece of your, your evening on this, uh, this Saturday to come out and hang out with us and allow us to share what it is that we love with you. Um, what we love the most with you. So uh, thank you first and foremost for being here. Thanks to the establishment for continuing to keep uh, the opportunities to play live music afloat. We should not take that for granted, not even for a second, because the minute we do, it's gone. So thank you, Noche and Max Wellman for making this happen. And so before we go on uh, to the next tune, um, we got a, uh, an important bit of business to attend to. And that is to make sure that when you walk out the store, you are intimately aware of who it is you are listening to. Um, and I'd like to also share a little bit about the basis for this series. So let's start with the, the personal part first. Over here on piano, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from right here in uh, the Des Moines area, this is Mr. Jason Danielson. <laughs> Back here holding down the bottom on the bass is uh, Mr. Steve Charleston. And back here on the uh, on the drums, former uh, uh, educator in what was it? What city were you in at one time? What state? What city? Oh, Indianola. Indianola, but um, has moved on to uh, something in the tech field. <laughs> Smart man, because we in education, I sweating bullets right now. But um, <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, back here on the drums is Mr. Nick Adelia. And last, but most certainly not least, our featured special guest for today. Um, so Noche was gracious enough to allow um, this idea to take life. The ideal of a kind of a nod to the old school approach to how the music was transmitted. Um, back in the day, what, there were no college degrees or classrooms that taught jazz. You just stood up on the bandstand next to people who played and you learned the old fashioned way. Um, and um, I was fortunate enough to have people around me when I was learning jazz that taught me that way. And so I felt it was almost a bit of a responsibility to, in some way, shape, or form, try to, one, keep that tradition alive, but two, uh, return the, the favor that those uh, older gentlemen in Detroit paid me um, as I became who I am right now. Um, and uh, the first student that we're including in this series is a student who's been with me for about five years now since he was, were you a sophomore or a junior in high school? Sophomore. sophomore year of high school. And he is now in his fourth year, correct? Fourth year at the University of Iowa, double majoring in um, trumpet performance and uh, business. And the, the thing is, is that Joey had a lot of choices. He had plenty of options to choose from in terms of going to school and he decided to stay here. And uh, we are beyond pleased that he decided to, uh, to hang out in the state and more importantly, come hang out with us at the University of Iowa. Uh, but this gentleman is um, an absolute pleasure to work with and I hope that you will agree by the time this is all over with, an absolute pleasure to listen to as well. So um, please show your, uh, show your love or a round of applause for our featured special guest today, Mr. Joseph Sneblin. Uh, that first tune was written by um, the great, great Wayne Shorter, tenor saxophonist. Uh, that was his tune entitled Yes or No. And uh, the next one we're going to do for you is from the Great American Songbook. If you come to hear Max Wellman shows on a regular basis, you probably have heard this a time or two. If not, then we're happy to be the first to introduce it to you because it is a really, really killing song. So this is uh, Cole Porter, is that correct? Oh, no, Jerome Kern. Jerome Kern. Almost messed that up. Uh, Jerome Kern's tune entitled, The Song Is You.
All right, all right. Tell you what, it's so nice to be able to play live in person. I feel like I've just kept saying this over and over again, but it, it, it really is, you know? Um, anyway, thank you all for being here tonight. And um, this, that last one was, again, was a Jerome Kern tune, The Song Is You. Uh, this next one is going to be by the great tenor saxophonist, Mr. Joe Henderson. And it's going to feature Steve Charlson out front on the bass. Mm-hmm. 
All right, thanks once again, Joe Henderson's uh, recording me. So this next one we're gonna do is one that um, rarely sees a light of day. And so you guys who've seen me before know my mantra. If it's really seen a light of day, we do what we can to bring it to the light. And uh, this is uh, one of those tunes that definitely is well deserving of a little bit of uh, sunshine. Uh, this is a tune written by uh, the great Billy Strayhorn, pianist and uh, cooperating composer, arranger with Duke Ellington for many, many years. Uh, this is his tune entitled Upper Manhattan Medical Group.
Thank you very much. Again, that was Billy Strayhorn's UMMG, Upper Manhattan Medical Group. This next one is uh, made famous by the great tenor saxophonist John Coltrane. This is In a Sentimental Mood. And this will feature our guest, Mr. Joey Schnevelin, as he is giving me the tune off. So I am going to uh, sashay on over to the bar and partake in a beverage. <laughs> Show, <on. laughs> Show us how it was done, sir.
Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joey Schneblin on the flute. Man, time goes quick. I'll tell you, this is what happens when you don't play enough. Your stage clock gets bad. <laughs> but um, we'll get it together. Um, we're going to do one more for you, then take a uh, short break, catch a breath, and then I'll come back for another for a second set. Uh, this is a tune written by Hank Mobley, correct? No. No. <laughs> By Hank Mobley, I was right, huh? <laughs> uh, really killing tune. Um, that uh, gets played every now and then. But by the way, everything that we played tonight was chosen by our special guest. I am literally a side man on my own gig. <laughs> um, and I am 1,000% cool with that because the deal is you, you learn by doing it, correct? From the rehearsal of the band all the way down to the tune choices and to who goes first on the solo order, the whole nine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's courtesy of our guests. So uh, this is uh, one of his tune selections entitled, This I Dig of You.
Thanks, folks, once again on piano, Mr. Jason Danielson. Back on the bass, holding down the bottom, this is uh, Mr. Steve Charlson. Back on the drums, Mr. Nicodalia. And our featured guest, Mr. Joey Schneblin on the trumpet. Give us about 15 or so, we'll be back for a second set. So please stick around, have a beverage, enjoy some conversation, and uh, we'll be back for some more music.
All right, good peoples. Uh oh, check, 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 check. Turn me up. Turn my headphones up. Thank you, folks, for hanging out. We appreciate it. Uh, let's kick off the, the second set with a tune written by trumpeter Lee Morgan. This is his tune entitled Mr. Kenyatta.
Thank you very much. That was one of my favorite trumpeters, Mr. Lee Morgan, and the tune, Mr. Kenyatta. Uh, this next one is a classic, of a, well, another, trump, another trumpeter favorite of mine, uh, Mr. Freddie Hubbard, and this one is called Up Jump Spring.
So um, one more last time, let me make sure that you know the guys up here, of course. I'm going to go in reverse order just to throw you a curveball since I've been going right to left since we got here. Back here on the drums, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we haven't gotten a chance to play together all that often, but um, I'm very happy that today was the day that it all, that all changed a bit. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Nick Adalia. <laughs> Over here on the panel, ladies and gentlemen, the, the governor of the Des Moines area piano. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Jason Danielson. <laughs> and back on the bass, Des Moines' favorite son, uh, who you will see him on many a bandstand, and then the next morning see him at the Des Moines Symphony doing his thing. He's one of those kind of guys. I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Steve Charleston on the bass. <laughs> and of course, of course, of course, of course, our special featured guest, who is a trumpet and business major over at the University of Iowa, um, and um, growing into his own as a monster behind the instrument. Over here on trumpet, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Joey Schneblin. Okay, I guess we're doing another Wayne Shorter tune. This time it actually is Wayne Shorter. Um, this is his tune entitled Footprints. I 
Wayne Shorter's tune, um, Footprints. Uh, this next one is written by Sonny Rollins, uh, written over the very uh, popular rhythm changes, chord changes. This is his tune entitled Olio. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. Man, I, I hate to say it, but we've reached that point in the evening where we have to bid you guys adieu. And, and they're going to kick us out of here. So before that happens, let's part on good terms with the establishment. So but want to make sure that we uh, introduce the gentlemen in the band one more time. Um, these are a special group of guys, and I'm very pleased to be able to make music with them and share it with you this evening. This over here on piano, you just heard from him loud and clear. This is Mr. Jason Danielson. Back here working, the hardest working man in show business on this tune in particular. This, ladies and gentlemen, on bass is Mr. Steve Charlson. Back on the drums, working equally as hard on this particular tune. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Nick Adalia. And over to my left, our featured guest for the evening, uh, Young lion and a cat that you want to keep your eye on, and I do mean that with every ounce of my being. Still in his fourth year, he will be here for another year before he goes off to do something else. Um, but we are absolutely pleased and honored to have him with us. This, ladies and gentlemen, over here on the trumpet, Mr. Joey Schneblin. I'm Damani Phillips. We hope that we are able to do this one more time. Uh, in the future, another one of these student concerts. So please keep supporting Noche. Thank you to the establishment for having us. And uh, have a beautiful evening.
Thanks again, folks. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Noche for hosting us. God bless, and uh, get home safely this evening.